So, Montana here is um, wearing a therapy. He's got the copper girth on, and I'm going to show you how we hook him up to, to uh, ground him and then how to demagnetize him. I, we're going to demagnetize him first because that way the grounding wires aren't in the way. So, the demagnetizer is on the other side here, and I just pull out enough from the wheel. In, in our space here to make a small loop on the ground, which I gather in my hand. And then holding the button down, I'll come up his mane and do his forelock. And then just sit, make some big wafting motions to cover his body like that. About 12 seconds, I don't go all the way down his legs. Then I'll gather his tail with my left hand, and then with my right hand, I'll hold the demagnetizer and go right down the tail like that, one time, which is five seconds. And then I'll just pop this over his back and come and do the same thing on this side, starting on his mane, coming down. And, and horses really enjoy that. You can see he's licking and chewing, so we know that it's releasing tension in, in some way. And that's it. Straightforward and simple. I'll just pull this back up and then I'll uh, back him up just a little bit so that he's not at the end of the cross tie. And then I've got these wires here that are connected to the grounding bar and our, our grounding girths are a little, um, I would say they're well used and, and, and may not have the same level of conductivity. So I just, you know, on the, on the, with the idea that it might be a better connection and a little bit faster grounding, I'll put um, three wires on him, you know. <laughs> Do I know that three wires work better than one wire? Well, the horses tell me that there's there's maybe a little bit, little bit of difference, but you know certainly we we've, we've done it with, with with one wire for a long period of time and had a lot of success with it. So anyway, that's a, that's a horse that's grounded and demagnetized, and and you know you can you can tell that despite the camera and, and you know everything else that's going on, he's in a he's in a pretty zen mode. He doesn't typically lower his head as much as some of them do. They'll just lean into the cross ties and literally fall asleep. You can see his lower lip gets pretty droopy and his eyes get, um, get soft and, and, and closed. And, you know, he just, this is, a, this is a, a horse in a happy place.